I get in the shower, everything was fine. And then as I'm finna get out, I turn the water off, I'm finna get out the shower, and that's when it hit me. Because you know what? If I wouldn't have made the moves that I made a few days ago, my kids would have found me in my shower dead. They hate when you elevate. The second of losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go delegate. It feel like I'm floating. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Fryer family, you already know what to do. Turn that bell on so you are subscribed to the channel. Also, guys, I will be back dropping daily uploads on all of my other platforms. I'm still uploading over on Facebook every day. Um, so if you guys want to go on over and follow me, man, we on the road to 1.6 million on Facebook, man. I feel so grateful, man. It's been probably about 11 months now since I had that page up and running. And I'm just very grateful for all the people who went over there and followed me. But anyway, guys, you know, this is not really all about that right here. Uh, I put a community post up yesterday. And I want to make sure that I didn't confuse anybody. When I put that post up, this had already been going on for a couple days. I put the post up about like I ran a fever of 103. I actually I was 104 guys where I actually had to go and get checked in. And I'm glad that I went and got checked in because it's real serious, bro. But I'm cool. I wasn't coughing or sneezing or throwing up like that. I didn't have none of those weird symptoms or signs. But I was just feeling really, really weird, man. And I was sweating and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I need to go get myself checked out. So I'm glad that I did. So I put the post up yesterday, which I probably will be taking that post down, telling you guys that, um, you know, I had ran a fever. I showed you guys like the little thermometer or whatever. And I put that post up because so many people were like, I think I, I had only, stop uploading for like maybe three or four days and i put that post up because people was like dming me and people was commenting on my other videos like mr crier what's going on with you at is you okay so i felt like that the people had a right to know and like people was reaching out to me i've even had people send me messages via text message i'm like whoa what the hell and i didn't respond to those people and um everything really doesn't need a response and so instead of me like responding to everybody i just put the picture up and let everybody see what it was and told you guys i will be back soon so if you guys remember the last video that i dropped in the crier family i actually had deleted that video because that was a video of me going to the casino well it wasn't of me going to the casino it was a video of me actually at the casino and I had hit a couple of really, really nice jackpots and stuff like that. And so I had took that video down after like it was up for like maybe 13 hours because I was like, wait a minute. This is not humble beginnings right here. This is not being humble. Like throwing in people's face what you want at the casino when you got people out there that's really in real life struggling and stuff like that. So I actually took that video down for that purpose and that purpose only. After I uploaded the video, you know, I was like, cool, this is a cool video. You know, I want to share with everybody, you know, what's going on with me, you know, how I'm having all this luck at the beginning of the year. But then I realized at the same time, that's not really being humble because you got people out there that's real life going through it right now. You know, we just had Thanksgiving that passed. We just had Christmas that passed. And then we just had New Year's that passed. And you got people out here that's real, real life struggling right now, trying to figure out, you know, how they gonna rob Peter to pay Paul and stuff like that. So I took it down for that purpose and that purpose only. And I had a few people call me and like ask me about, hey, why'd you take that video down? What's going on? You took a couple of videos down. Because in the last couple of videos I did, I was like, well, you know, I think I was like showing too much stuff that I shouldn't have been showing. And when I do stuff like that, it kind of gives people stuff to talk about. And like, I really, you know, I'm really trying to stay away from all that. But the situation that happened to your boy, man, like I brought up that last video that I had dropped, which was the casino video. And after I dropped that video, like, it was over with for me, bro. 
I mean, it was literally over with for me. So I ended up going to the casino, like Gold Nugget Lake Charles Casino. You know, we all feel like, you know, COVID is over with, you know, you hear little stories about COVID coming back here and there, COVID making this comeback, especially now that it's getting cold, now that it's really cold. And so, uh, if anybody wondering, no, I didn't have COVID. No, I didn't have any COVID traits or any signs. I was running a really, really high fever, which was really at dangerous levels for me, especially at my age, man, 53. No, it's not old, but I am older. I'm not 23, 33, or 43. You know, I'm 53. And, you know, as you get older, you put yourself at more higher risk. So me being at the Gold Nugget Casino, you know, it was a good day. I felt really good. I felt like you know, it was going to be my lucky day. And the lady that was sitting next to me told me that it was going to be my lucky day. Well, sometimes your lucky day might just be your worst day. And that's exactly how it was to me. So, yes, I did have a good day at the casino where I won a few bucks. I was able to cash out really, really nice. But the downside to that is that when I was in that casino, I was playing multiple machines. You know, I didn't have a face mask on. You know, they was bringing me my drinks. You know, when I'm out in public, I don't really drink like that. I might drink like a Coca-Cola or uh, a bottle of water at the casino, which even if I'm not out in public, I really don't drink maybe like twice a year. But going around those machines and stuff at the casino, you know, I had my vape, you know, going back and forth, touching my lips with it and stuff like that. and playing multiple machines that other people had played been coughing and sneezing all over and I wasn't being attentive you know to the safeties you know to the safety rules of life and as an adult you don't have a you know your parents around saying hey you need to go wash your hands after you play this machine and you know me doing that knowing better to do what I had did you know, I didn't care. I just felt like, you know, I brought this much money and now I'm up this many thousands of dollars, you know, and I'm good, but I wasn't thinking about the risk I was putting myself in and the whole time I carried a virus home with me. And so um, I ended up going to get, well, let me slow down. So the day after I left the casino, like I said, I had did a little video and uploaded it for you guys or whatever. Um, and then like the next day when I woke up, I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth and like I just got real real dizzy and real real lightheaded and so I was like damn, you know Something don't feel right and you know when you don't feel right, you know when your body don't feel right And so, you know me that you know, I'm the type of person I don't really say nothing like like if I get sick or something like that I don't like call my family and be like yo something's wrong with me because I feel like, you know, I be dealing with my own situations, man, the best way I can. Because I get sick all the time. And when I say I get sick all the time, I don't mean like, you know, I'm throwing up and all that. It's just that sometimes when, when the weather changes, like this is December. I'm sorry, this is January. And when this weather change, I end up getting sick. And it might be for like two or three days. But this time was different. And so when I was brushing my teeth, man, I just felt like, you know, like, Normally when I brush my teeth, I have like a bottle of water by the bathroom sink So I can like pour it in my mouth and then you know, like rinse my mouth out and then spit But that wasn't the case this time. I didn't have a bottle of water with me this time So I dipped my head up under the sink in the restroom and when I came back up That's when I felt the dizziness coming along So I went in my bedroom and then sat on the edge of the bed and I'm like damn something don't feel right man So after about I say 10 or 15 minutes go by I decided to go ahead and then jump in the shower I get in the shower, everything was fine. And then as I'm finna get out, I turn the water off, I'm finna get out the shower, and that's when it hit me. I like just fell up against the glass in the shower. Like my shower is all glass. You guys seen it in, from previous videos or old videos. I fell up against the glass and I found myself holding myself up. And that's when I was like, whoa, something is not right. So boom, I made the call. I made the call that I didn't want to make because like them EMSs, man, it costs a lot of money for that stuff. And so, but I didn't have a choice because at that point I was, I was literally livid. I was scared, bro. So I ended up wanting to get checked out, man. And like I said, I wasn't coughing or sneezing or nothing. So they kept me for observations, checked me out. 
one of the most important things that was real critical for me was that they said that my blood pressure was extremely through the roof and I'm like high blood pressure I'm like I'm not stressing I'm not worried about nothing so why do I have high blood pressure like you know what I'm saying everything is good I'm getting up every day I'm eating um, I'm not exercising like I should be but I mean I'm as happy as I've been in a long long I mean I'm literally as happy as I've been in a couple years man like living my best life and so I'm like so they was like well have I ever been on blood pressure medication I said yeah so about 10 years ago you know and when he said the high blood pressure that's when it dawned on me I explained to them about 10 years ago I worked you know I worked for this company in Indiana and one day we was in a meeting and like we had like these meetings every couple weeks on a Monday like company updates new rules and changes that's coming how well business is and layoffs announcements and stuff like that and so I was in this meeting and I remember they asked me a question and I stood up and I grabbed my chest and I fell back down and they had to rush me to the hospital that was 10 years ago when I found out that I had high blood pressure so they put me on this medication called lisinopril I think I'm pronouncing it right Lisinopril, it's something like that. Lisinopril, it was an itty bitty small tablet. So I was told to take one of those pills every 24 hours. I think it was every 24 hours. I hope I'm saying this right. Cause the bottle they gave me had like 30 pills in it. So I think it was like once a day. And so after like that uh, medication supply had ran out, I had to go back to the doctor for like my follow-up checkup. And then I had to get a refill. So when I get to the doctor, I never forget, my doctor was a female. She said they had to take me off the lisinopril because it was slowing my heart rate down. But it was the same episode I had where I got really dizzy and like my fever just ran up just through the roof. And so when they asked me this the other day at the hospital, it dawned on me what was going on. So they ended up taking me off the lisinopril years ago because they said my heart, it had slowed my heart rate down too much. And so now the ones that they got me on now are not as strong as the ones that I was on 10 years ago. So they got me taking one tablet every 24 to 48 hours. And I got a total of 15 of them. So they said that that contributed. Uh, they said that the high blood pressure contributed to my um, fever. I'm like, huh? But also, me being at the casino touching stuff contributed to my fever. They said I had a mild cold, but they said the mild cold had nothing to do with the fever that I was running. So my fever got all the way up to 104. Yeah, it was at 104. And then, like, after about a day or so, it started going down to, like, 103.2, 103.1. So now I'm almost back at like normal, uh, 98.7, I think it is. So it was a scare for me because like I said, it reminded me of what happened 10 years ago. And if they would not have asked me that had ever been on um, high blood pressure medication before, I would not even mention that. So um, I did get my temperature taken this morning um, and my temperature did come down. Um, it's not all the way back down, but um, it's on its way back down to normal. So I did take the tablets that they gave me. Again, I think they gave me like 15 of them. It's like a two-week supply of them. So I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Um, it was, I, I mean, I guess the um, they was explaining it to me that if your fever get to like close to 106, that you're close to dying like literally like close to dying and so i had that factor blending in with my high blood pressure on top of the fever so uh the way that they described it they said it was a recipe for disaster that scared the hell out of me i mean i was terrified so at that moment i end up you know calling some people and letting them know what's going on um, I pretty much like, you know, I had like a lot of love and support from my family and stuff, you know, and I really do appreciate that, man. Like my family, man, good people, man, good people. 
That's all I'm gonna say, man. I got so much love and support. And for the people who reached out to me through text message and stuff, and if I didn't respond to you, you know, um, I'm just trying to, um, you know, I probably didn't respond because I just felt like there was really no need for me to respond. Like people seen the post, so they already knew what it was and stuff like that. So I'm starting to wonder like every year, every single year that goes by around the same time of year i end up getting sick but it's never like what it was this time this time there was no coughing and sneezing like you know when you have a cold you know you got runny nose you start coughing um like sneezing all the time but that wasn't even the case this time this time it was just a fever and I'm going to tell you what really dawned on me and really scared the hell out of me, guys. About two years ago, I have a cousin. You know, he passed away two years ago. No, he passed away. He died in a restroom. And, you know, he was a working man just like me. Family man, married. Obviously, I'm not married anymore. But he was a good family man. And he just literally just got up to go to the restroom and... He never came out the restaurant. He passed away in there. And so when I was in the shower, man, I mean, it like, it really scared me because I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't want it to end right here. And so I should have knew when I started brushing my teeth and when I came up from trying to get water to rinse my mouth out, I should have knew right then and there that something was wrong. But my neighbors, man, like my neighbors are really good people. Uh, I didn't really know my, I've been at my place, man, for probably, Jesus Christ, guys. I don't even know when I moved here, man, to my uh, place that I'm in now. I want to say maybe March. I've probably been there eight months now. And I never really communicated with my neighbors like that. But the day that it happened, it was like everybody was out there. Everybody was out there, man. So, so I got to, like, you know, meet my neighbors. And right now, I'm not in my home because I got some people there cleaning my home. Um, I actually hired some people to clean my home because I didn't want to take chances like that. So they cleaning it with Lysol. Uh, it's like a little service that you can opt into if you want where they come to your house and they do all this cleaning and wiping stuff down. Because I was like, I'm not taking no chance. So I got some face masks now that I'm going to be wearing when I'm out in public. I'm not wearing it now because I'm sitting in my truck. And um, But yeah, I just want to, you know, I'll let you guys know what's going on man if you guys ever experience high blood pressure take that stuff serious you know if you ever experience a fever that's abnormal take that stuff serious because you know what if i wouldn't have made to moves that i made a few days ago my kids would have found me in my shower dead they would have found my ass dead i would have been done all y'all would have heard was a small clipping. Damien Cryer from the Cryer family passed away. So I'm glad that I took the measures that I taken because I don't want to be found like that, man. You know, and, and one thing for sure and two things for certain, I definitely don't want my kids to have to find me like that, man, because that would be something that they have to live with for the rest of their life. You know, um, I know how that feeling is. You know, I don't, I've never found someone like that that's close to me. But I've known people who have, and it's just like, it's something that you don't always live with. You want to remember them from the last time you seen them when they were smiling, you know? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, but I'm back now, man. I'm going to get back to my regular routine. Um, I'm still feeling, I'm not feeling down or anything because I'm out driving, obviously. So I'm feeling pretty good but I'm still feeling like a little bit leery. Like I have to continue to be careful, you know, watch what I do. Something that was said to me the other day, what was it, cholesterols, my cholesterols. You guys know I eat a lot of fried foods. That's been brought to my attention multiple times, but to actually hear it from a physician, you know, it's, it's uh, pretty serious. So I got a, I'm not gonna stop eating fried foods. I love fried foods, but I know at some point I have to cut back on eating fried food so much because you know that could clog your arteries um they were just saying a lot of stuff could actually lead to high blood pressure so 
I'm not completely 100% out of the woods yet, but I do know the blood pressure level has went back down and the fever most definitely has went back down. So I had two for one. Normally you could just have high blood pressure and that's serious enough, but high blood pressure and the fever. So I'm counting my blessings, man. And that's why I put in that post yesterday, never take life for granted, man. Never take life for granted. But anyway, man, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate y'all, man. Just know that I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, my boy is back. But anyway, I love you guys. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Until next time, it's your boy Damien. And I'm out. Peace.